Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. We are going to take a look at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Virgo. And we'll, this is a general reading, so whatever comes through this reading, I will relate to you through the cards. We see it, hear it, feel it, know it. We're looking at love, career, family, friends, whatever comes through this reading. Again, I will relate it to you. So the overall message is going to come through on these first cards, and then we're going to look at the detail and any of the adversities along the way. Now we're starting off, and this is meant for the week that you are viewing it, okay? And next week we're going to go to, um, we're going to start doing these every single week, and for Earth Signs will be uploaded on Tuesdays. So we have a little bit of negative energy that we're looking at, and it's not surprising because Mercury's in retrograde and it can make us feel a little bit repressed. It blocks communication. It makes things go a little bit out of order. It doesn't mean your whole world is going to fall apart, but what this is saying is you might be starting the week off feeling a little bit of um, a self-sabotage energy. You know, the Five of Swords is quarreling. It's battling um, on a low-key level. So this is like, you know, the bickering and arguing that people can do, but it's not necessarily bad. It's not the huge arguments. It's that little jab where you might even get irritated by people uh, just because this is that energy at the time. Now, we also have midweek, we have the king of pentacles so this is a person it could be a virgo taurus or a capricorn it may be you it may be the person that you're dealing with or the situation that you're dealing with meaning if this represents a, a company a career endeavor you may have um, encountered this job in one of the earth sign elements and i keep hearing virgo so that would be around august of last year august you may have found the job and right now you're wondering if it's even worth it okay wondering is this the job is this the career path that i truly truly want some of you are getting an offer that is going to make you feel a little bit of trepidation okay do i or don't i actually want to move in this direction is this the right offer for me? Now, let's be real. Although I'm not doing love in this reading, I'm doing a special reading for you guys, and that'll be live. So you can check that out, and please uh, join us for that live segment. It's all about love. This is more going to be about career for a lot of you, uh, and there'll be a small group of you where it will feel like a love romantic relationship. But this anxiety, this trepidation is wondering, am I really doing what feels right for me? Because the overall energy, and I know it, see it, feel it, hear it, right? And that's how I relate these readings, the guided channeled messages that I get for you. So this is that moment for you to make a big decision because this is a very big offer. It's an offer, an opportunity, or possibly a person that could really make you feel secure. But yet there's a sense of insecurity around this individual, around this opportunity coming in. So this insecurity, we're going to look at the detail right now. And you do have the two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So we'll see how that plays out if it comes out as we go forward. Now, <clears throat> again, this may be you. It may be somebody else that you're dealing with. Let's take a look at what the details are. So with this five of wands, we have the seven of wands. Whatever's going on in this situation around you right now, you need to make sure that you are uh, uh, setting boundaries, reestablishing guidelines when it comes to your career, even relationships on all levels. Blocking out anybody that's creating any dis disharmony inside of you because this week they're saying they want you to feel secure in the choices that you make. It's time for you to make this big move that feels right for you. It's not about anybody else this week. It's about you. So that's why these energies are like this. It's almost like a testing, if you will. Testing to make sure that you're doing it for yourself. So draw up a new plan, revise it, reestablish boundaries, especially if this is a relationship on any level, a family member, romance, even your own uh, co-workers at work. Now, 
we have the two of swords and that's what I'm talking about. Do I or don't I? Should I take this offer or should I not? Because this is an opportunity and it's a well, if this is career, it's a well-established corporation. This is a large corporation that brings in that peace and harmony when it comes to feeling like you've created a, a wonderful home life, providing you with the money that you need, the, you know, you can live in the area that you want. But yet again, there's that trepidation. There's that little bit of wondering, is this right for me? So you're being guided to actually do some research when it comes to this offer to this individual person. I also feel it's not just Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. I feel Pisces is inside of this reading for you, Virgo. There's Libra in this energy. There's Gemini in this energy. And it could be Aquarius as well. There's a lot of air attached. Now, that may very well be the lack of communication or a difference in communication when it comes to this situation. I also feel... Taurus. Taurus is really heavy in this reading as well. So if you're dealing with somebody in that area, then or it's in your chart, please listen to this and see how it can help guide you into the right direction. This page of pentacles. Now this could be an offer and this may very well be a person that you know around you that is creating this anxiety, kind of uh, like pushing your buttons. <laughs> Somebody's pushing your buttons and it is like a big test. And I feel it's part of your destiny that it's actually meant to be in your life at this moment. Because again, I say, you know, I was guided to tell you that this is testing to make certain that you are choosing what's right for you accepting an offer for some of you you have a second offer coming in and it's not as grand as the original one but it may be a little bit better for you to accept and only you can make that decision so through this energy you have somebody coming around an opportunity or a person that is going to make you feel really good and we have the fool card you see, by setting the boundaries and saying, okay, if you're getting this job opportunity, then you want to make sure that what is in writing is right for you, particularly if you're signing any documents during Mercury and retrograde. It doesn't mean it's going to go awry, although it can, and the reason it does is because we don't, we don't read the documents very well. We don't communicate very well, a little bit tongue-tied, maybe not thinking as clearly, Especially if we're dealing with this type of energy right here, where you have a little bit of self-sabotage or you have somebody around you, perhaps an Aries around you, that is causing this disharmony inside of you, pushing your buttons again. So the Fool card is saying, do the research and then just let the chips fall where they may because you've done the research, because you already know if it goes this way, you know how to take care of it because you researched it. If it goes this way, you know how to take care of it because you did the research. You already looked up this company and you understand the pros and the cons, the good and the bad about the person or the situation that you're dealing with. So this is a big week of testing for a lot of you. Use your beautiful, beautiful, and you are, have very heightened uh, spiritual gifts a lot of Virgos do. You're very in tune and you can just know whether it's to uh, being of light and love or your own higher consciousness. You know exactly what to do. With this card comes a lot of wisdom. Like you can just meditate on your own and you know exactly what feels right inside of you. So be the fool and follow your own intuition. Do not listen to somebody else. Make sure that you are doing it based on your own because we have the five of cups. We want absolutely no regret in this decision. So with this, again, you know, not being able to sleep because you needed that information. And for some of you, this is an apology coming in. It truly is. This is an offer coming in. You thought you may have been uh, out in the cold by a person. For a lot of you, this is a loss of a job and they're coming back around and you have two opportunities getting ready to come in has a lot to do with your finances this week. Do I or don't I? Now, I feel for some of you, it has to do with writing. You may have a blog series that you already have opened and you're making changes that are going to produce income 
over the next two dash three months, over the next two to three months. And if you do, you already have done the research, so you know exactly what to write about, what direction to go, but yet there's still that fear. So you remember with this card, we're looking at what we lost and maybe feeling a little bit hopelessness uh, as we're looking down, but look up because you have those two cups behind you and you have this new idea, this new offer is getting ready to come in. So it's actually quite very, very good. It's going to be trial and error. It is going to be uh, a testing. And that's, I mean, there's no more you can say about that. So let's see what the adversities could be so that it can help guide you into overcoming them. Now, again, if you didn't hear me, I will be doing these readings for you on a regular basis from here forward. I'm pulling back on working with people one on one uh, group sessions and, you know, plans. I will continue to work with people, but that way we can really focus on these readings. So I look forward to it. And yours is scheduled, I believe, on Tuesdays. I have that in the description box below. So whatever this is, you oh, look at that. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Now, this is you in your highest form, Virgo, male or female, because it's a general reading. This is you in your purest for, uh, form. The authentic you, the true core you. Connected, you know who to give to and who to take from back and forth, ebb and flow in the right way. You are at a point by the beginning of the week after you reflect on all of this and you definitely reestablish your own boundaries, particularly when it comes to relationships on any level. It's going to put you back in a place of being grounded and solid. You're going to see things and this beautiful energy of heightened senses. You're going to see beyond what's in front of you and most likely what's in front of everybody else. Like you're going to be one step ahead because you're going to be the fool and you're going to embrace this and you know it's a test and the test can always be overcome. It's doing the research. So with this, we have the hangman. And we also have the tower card. Now, the tower card has been happening for a lot of people. And it doesn't mean that it's necessarily bad. But this is, a, like I said, if, especially if you have a writing, if you are writing in some way. I see the word blog and I see a lot of writing with pencils. So it could be a blog series and it may very well be writing a book or documents, okay? But it has to do with writing, contracts, things like that, if you do that for a living. This is about really stepping back and saying, I know exactly who to give to, like I said, because this tower could take place if you focus on the negative. Remember, these are challenges and the challenge is to be at your core best self the best version of you in balance where you can see in front, you can see behind you, underneath you, and above you. You are in complete balance. So take a step back and reevaluate the situation and make sure that you've done all of the due diligence in order to pass your own unique individual testing this week. The tower is going to make changes in your life and it's going to take this five of cups right here Okay, it's going to take this five of cups and let go of the guilt and it's going to pop these two, two cups up. So the new opportunity is going to pop up and that is going to be a challenge in itself. Is this the right thing for me? So I do see that twos and fours, two and four are going to be your primary number that may very well be all the way into, you know, like January 24th, but I think you're going to be seeing 222444, maybe 2424, okay? So let's pull a card, an overall message to help guide you through this week, and it will really uh, help you stay grounded and focused. Now, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, we're going to go forward, man. We're going we're gonna to make things happen through these readings where I can help you guys in a bigger, bolder way. The card that came out for you is the card of worry. And you have three other cards on the table that are talking about worry. A little bit of anxiety. Anxiety doesn't always mean negative, you guys. If we're getting married, that's, that's exciting. That's super cool. 
However, there's a lot of anxiety in planning and preparing. If we're traveling, we have to make sure that everything's in order and that itself can bring on anxiety. So don't worry about what you are doing. Follow your own inner guidance. Remember, you are the high priestess and you are in control of the direction of your life. You know exactly what changes to make that are going to bring you all of the prosperity and abundance in your life. So have a wonderful week. Thank you for watching. Much love.